back to another episode of Last Day on our Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to an episode dedicated to the mini Uzi and all the fan freaking fantasticness that we are going to be having with this bad boy. I managed to get my hands on one of them. We're going to be trying to get many more of them. And on top of it all, we're going to be trying to check out and unlock some of the huge amount of mods that this bad boy has to offer. And let me just very quickly show you guys how insane this thing gets in its fully modded variety keep an eye on all of those stats up in that little northern area and keep an eye on the gun itself and look at this thing it's been like transformed in an entirely new type of weapon that I don't know, man. It's looking pretty dope, but I think when it comes to the mod on the Uzi, we're going to try to get our stability up to the max. But listen, first things first, we got to try and unlock some of these mods, and the best ways for that to occur is going to be by getting, well, blueprints. So we might be making a pit stop over to the police station when that is possible, but in the meantime, we got 10 files with rare blueprints to open up these bad boys, of course, costing about 10 bucks a pop, 70 for all 10 of these. So we got a pretty decent unboxing over here. Let's go, no no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, and already we got ourselves an Uzi mod, the Colimato. I probably butchered the bejesus out of that, but we got a sight, and let's go! We got an ergonomic grip, too. We are getting some dope mods for the Uzi. Can we get at least one extremely rare, though? That is the question. Cross your fingers for me, guys and gals, lads and lassies. And okay, we got a double drum, so at least we're getting some dope stuff here that I can get behind, but no whammy, no whammy for the true goods. And then we can actually go, when we go to the bunker, we can trade in all of that's freaking go boys the four times site is ours and maybe even more is yet to come time will tell but all of the rest of these mods we can go ahead and trade in over at the bunker to get some more stuff as well and we're actually getting some lever uh blueprints and whatnot as well which is kind of nifty but it appears that other than that our luck is not giving us too much oozy but that is okay because we will be able to trade in a lot of these but whoo baby all right well let's go let's actually get some of these things let's try to mod our uzi before we head out on a little bit of an adventure with it we got a couple of pretty decent mods like the silencer for one that's already one that i noticed the four times sight i got some lens saved up so that should definitely be craftable a long barrel a double drum so we got some drum modifications and then what is our ergonomic grip very nice a muzzle brake as well so we got a good amount of grips and a calamiter sight so these are all mods that we did not have unlocked let's go and and equip them well not equip them but let's go and utilize them before we go and then try to see what magic we can make happen hello game okay there we go that was being a little bit weird and after a whole ton of searching around my base to get the necessary goods it is time for us to lay claim to some of these very mods now the double drum unfortunately we are gonna need to do a little bit more and by a little bit i mean a decent amount more weapon gathering and scrapping to get the necessary ones of those things that we need but the four times site will be ours let's finalize that the long barrel and all of its juiciness will be ours and this marvelous ergonomic grip over here which is actually the best grip in terms of stability which is why i love it will also be ours and here we are gonna actually dude we got really lucky we got a lot of really good mods for this bad boy because looking through all of these scopes this one is the only one that increases damage by a lot and that is already a very very nice change over here in the barrel section you can see our damage just skyrocketed up even more our range went up and so did our stability and let's go ahead and toss on that grip and look at the stability just continuing to go up so we actually got really lucky with really good mods for all of these now there's actually like good silencers and stuff we could utilize too but in terms of non-silence which is i think what we're going to be using the uzi for we actually got the three best as wet like three best mods in these three categories now when it comes to this without a doubt what we're going to want to be getting is this bad boy for its stability and then this one is actually really nice because check out what this thing does which is actually what we have unlocked we just need to uh, build it the stability skyrockets up speed goes up weight goes down and critical chance will also be going up which is awesome now compare that against some of these other ones none of these really add stability or anything this one does take away a little bit but all in all we have a super nice combo over here that we are going to be rocking and let's 
let's go ahead and check out how the uh, thing got updated and it is up to 12 damage and 8.3 speed now let's just go ahead and compare that to its base version which is with absolutely no mods and you guys can see that that's a very big difference in damage and the difference is an entire four damage and for a weapon that shoots this quickly along with all those speed things these are some really nice changes we've got going for the uzi and there is more to come why why do you say such things star well 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 we got a bunker to be heading on over to with the code 98989 and if that code is out of date by the time you yourselves are trying to use it make sure you share that comment section down below for an up to date version brought to you by the fan freaking tastic community here at the slave gang let's go ahead and see oh baby dude i'm not gonna lie this is kind of like with the proper mods this could turn out being better than like an m16 just based off fire rate and damage alone because we're already doing 12 damage a pop which is what the m16 does by default and we also have about the same fire rate as it so i'm not gonna lie the mini uzi is kind of like the new budget rifle in a way that i would say i think that's a good way of comparing it and i mean once you get the proper mods on it though it is going to turn into a very very nice weapon and it is going to be available for us to get through yellow crates through red crates and also through the police station potentially the floppy disk as well so we're going to be going over there not just hopefully get some more mods unlocked by turning in all of ours and trying to get more blueprints but also trying to get that stuff and then we will be making a pit stop to the police station when it respawns because it still has yet to respawn so i'm gonna go ahead prepare our inventory for our adventures and talk to y'all in a sec so let's start making our way over there to bask in the glory of hopefully what will be more mini uzis and whatnot coming our way and after that we also have a raid of the revenge variety that we are going to be heading out to as well so hope that you guys are excited for that we got an action-packed episode today the uzi will not be coming along for that raid unfortunately and like i said the police station has unfortunately not respond yet as soon as it does though we'll head over there try to pop open some blue crates i think blue and purple crates can actually have the uzi as well and then as we know the green crates blue crates and purple crates all drop uh in that order they will be dropping the common mods uncommon mods and then rare extremely rare mods or no it's common mods rare mods extremely rare mods my bad my bad on that but that's the order that they're gonna be dropping in so hopefully we can get some uzi mods through that as well but listen we got some Uzis to hopefully get from the bunker. We got some mods to hopefully get from the bunker. We got a little bit of password hacking into the bunker to do. But all in all, today is shaping up to be a hype day as we finally got our hands on the marvelousness of the Uzi. And not just that, we got our hands already on some really nice mods. And we are working our way towards the ultimate modified Uzi. And once this thing is modified, dude, like, honestly, if you guys saw, like, what it was looking like within that modified screen, it just starts to look, like, quite literally like a rifle and it's amazing and i need it and i need it now and i will have it now god dang it but hello to you specialist we're kind of close to the floppy does too so we might be able to get our grubby little fingers on that but we got some trading in to do over here let's go ahead and make that magic happen and gather up as many of those as we can and while we are doing that i want to go and get your guys' thoughts and opinions on the uzi what you guys think of what you have seen out of it so far what you guys think out of the modifications which modification is your favorite any and all that type but Jazz, I'm actually getting some Winchester mods as well, which is always good. But go let me know what modification is your guys' favorite, what modifications you yourselves may have gotten so far, any and all that type of jazz. I would absolutely love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below. And even, you know, like if you those that you have gotten, what you think of them and which ones are your personal favorites and what is maybe your dream Uzi? Which five mods do you want to see put together and which one do you think would make the most amazing a combination? And that is what I would love to hear from y'all today and reminded that comments but you're one third of the way it's a wiki 12 dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that will let you watch today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that we will up for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information not to mention update gameplay because that is exactly what we are doing today checking out the uzi to its fullest extent seeing what we could pull off with it checking it out trying to mod
modified, show off the mods, all that type of jazz. And we are always doing that for every single update that is coming to last day on Earth and making sure that you guys know what you're getting into, the best ways to approach things, the best things to go after, if things are even worth going after, any and all that type of jazz. And not to mention, we have still yet to see the Santa Claus zombie of the winter update. So I think that there's still even more to come, man. Honestly, just given the way that it may or may not be working, Santa Claus is someone that comes on a Christmas, you know? So maybe what's going on here is that it just so happens maybe we'll get that part of the winter update with that Santa Claus zombie over closer to Christmas or something like that. But uh, let me know what you guys think regarding that as well. But just lo just, lo just know that we're going to be keeping up to date with that along with supposedly there is still supposed to be another multiplayer update of some sort before uh, the year does come to an end. So that's another thing that we're going to be staying in the loop on and keeping y'all in the loop on and breaking down the info upon because there's just a whole ton of awesomeness coming our way and already man we got this awesome uzi three of the best mods a lad could ask for and hopefully many more to come because as you guys can see we got 32 and counting of these that we are going to be getting the reason that i'm kind of like clicking through all these is to make sure that i have all these mods i think the ones i think only i need the winchester mods but still better safe than sorry better to check than not check and 33 of these will be ours so just to kind of speed up the process i'm actually going to redeem the green crate and the yellow crate and see if we can't uh which mccall free up a couple of slots for all the green tickets and whatnot that we brought so let's get the green crate rolling around let's get the yellow crate go rolling around and let's go back and do some of this mass unboxing before we go and unbox those two boxes and see what goods they may provide let's take all of these and see what type of jazz we got for that notification bell is also gonna be a great way to stay up to date with every single video y'all can I turn on for that weekly giveaway not to mention an awesome way of staying up to date with all the dope survival games going up on the channel as well and hello hello are these a new modification for the uzi in the form of the extended mod and actually the extended mag is a pretty decent mag to potentially modify your weapon with because i was looking through some of its stats guys and that thing is the only magazine that increases your speed i think if i'm thinking of the right one i think that it will actually increase your speed or something interesting like that so definitely something to be keeping our eyes and ears peeled upon over there i wish that these things would stack though that would make our lives ridiculously easier hey another uzi mod i'll never complain about that anything else we got good coming over here just the usual random modifications for random weaponry but i ain't complaining it just so happens that we already have lots of these unlocked and hey that's more stuff to turn in for even more of these but i think this will be our final batch maybe we'll get a couple more here or there we haven't really gotten any blue blueprints <laughs> blue blueprints but we haven't really gotten anything like that it looks like we're mainly getting common mods the lots of lods no the gods of blueprint luck are not on our side but at the very least we are unlocking a lot of these uzi modifications so we could show off what it takes to build some of them and that's the thing like even though the more expensive ones and better ones might be harder to get they're also harder like harder to get as a blueprint the problem about them is that they're also harder to build and that's another thing that you need to keep in mind so sometimes those budget ones like they give you like it give you like way better bang for your buck depending on what you're looking for but i am looking for a little thing known as red tickets and i have an uzi that i I kind of want to save for killing the blind one, but first things first, we got to try and collect some red tickets and no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Let's freaking go. What is this over here? A nuclear pattern. That's the thing. I think they revamped the motorcycle patterns in this update as well, but that's another Uzi and that's very nice because I want to be stockpiling these weapons. I want a chest dedicated to Uzis because once we get the proper mods on them, they are going to be a very, very fun weapon to be making use of. But for now, I guess I'll go ahead and pick these up and let's dive our way down under into the depths of the bunker and why don't we go ahead and begin with floor three a floor with quite a lot of frenzy giants which are good because those give us the best chance at red tickets and this will also be a great chance for us to go ahead and utilize that mini uzi i said i kind of wanted to save it for whatchamacall i wanted to save it for the blind one or whatever and see what we could do but i kind of want to use it to take down a uh, uh one of those big boys one of the frenzy giants and see what kind of magic tragic magic we can make them happen although the tragicness is going to be to them not to us we're going to be the ones experiencing the dopeness and no one has dropped anything so far i don't like that 
But yeah, it's going to be a good little experiment, good little test to see maybe how long it takes before the recoil starts to kick in, especially given the fact that we have really tried, like we were focusing for the most part on getting stability improved. That's the really good thing about the barrel we got, by the way. It also does have a couple of active skill mods that we've yet to unlock that look like they might be kind of decent. But the good thing about the barrel that we got is that it's pretty much the best barrel. Oh, can I snipe the turret from here? Let's freaking go. This thing actually, dude, it has like the range of a rifle at this point. That sight and long barrel, like, I, we just made a winning combo, boys. I think that that's the moral of the story. Whoop, 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 whoop. That is not a winning combo. All right, is the AK a winning combo? All right, the AK is a winning combo. Let's go and utilize a little bit of that to take this turret down and see if this chest over here might contain a red ticket because these chests are known to contain such shenanigans and maybe the dead body of our comrade will contain something good as well. We got a pistol, actually, not too shabby. And over here, we got meh, nothing too great. Can't reach that toxic spitter from here, unfortunately. Let's go back to the pistol drizzle magic and spread a little bit of that holiday holiday cheer over to the abominations and speaking of spreading that holiday cheer hopefully you guys are absolutely a fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety that only gets a more fan freaking fantastic from here on out and continues doing exactly that whether that be maybe from a smile or a giggle coming your guys way from my video from me or whether it be absolutely anything going on in those marvelous lives of yours whatever it might be i just hope that there's something popping off and going on to bring a smile to all them wonderful faces of yours because y'all deserve it and yeah holly jolly christmas holiday cheer you know speaking of holiday cheer yo it was actually really awesome because uh, yesterday i went to dunkin donuts when i was setting up my computer i'd make a trip to best buy because we've ended up fully moving back home from college and god dang it not even a red ticket we ended up moving back home fully from college and i forgot a couple of cables that I had to go run to best buy to get so i stopped by dunkin donuts you know gave me a little bit of gaffy and uh dude it was so awesome like this guy in front of me just he's like yo uh, and the, go and put on like my books like he bought like seven five dollar gift cards or something so i think he was like in a little bit of the holiday cheer i think he was buying those to, like hand out to people and stuff too because he's like oh yeah and uh guy behind me whatever he wants put that on my bill too and i'm just like yo dude thank you i'm like you, you want a donut or something so i was getting iced coffee i'm like you want a donut or something he's like nah and it was just like i don't know man like it's a small little gesture like iced coffee's not expensive or anything it was like a buck fifty like i wasn't trying to bankrupt this dude and be like yeah i'll take fifty i'll take one billion donuts no no but uh i don't know it was just like awesome to do something like not to do something like that but to see something like that happen i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna pay it forward next time i'm in line at a coffee shop whether it be starbucks or dunkin donuts or whatever it might be all that i know is that whoever is behind me is gonna be their lucky day or maybe i'll even go extra generous and be like hey everyone in line i'll i got y'all on your coffee or something like that i don't know i just want to spread some fan freaking fantasticness because that was oh my god these frenzy giants are brutal it was just a really nice thing that he did for us and i don't know man like I, I appreciate that a ton and that's like i feel like what i always try to preach in the videos and stuff that positivity fan freaking fantasticness and that dude i was honestly like it was just like such a nice little gesture like it wasn't big or anything but it just, like gestures don't need to be big man doing something nice in any capacity is always just like it's always just a great thing regardless of how big or how small it might be and like i seriously appreciate that a ton and it was just really awesome to see so i just want hey maybe you my man my friend if you are watching this video by for whatever weird chance or something uh hey man thank you i appreciate it a ton it actually absolutely made my day especially after such a stressful semester first day back home and no better way of getting in the holiday cheer the holiday joy the holiday jingle and mingle and christmas mingle no this ain't christian mingle or nothing like that you know what i mean though I mean, no better way than to have someone just doing something nice like that. So maybe that'll inspire some of y'all to do something nice, some small little gesture. And I, hopefully, like, what, what I'm saying can maybe show to you guys that, you know, it doesn't matter how big of a thing you do or whatever. Just doing nice things are doing nice things. And it's like, I, I don't know, man. I feel like people are grateful regardless of how big it might be. At least I know, man. Like, if someone got me, like, a freaking gumdrop out of, like, one of those, uh, whatchamacallit, like, one of those, like, little uh, machines, right? that you like put in a quarter and you get some stuff out of like i'd probably still be ridiculously thankful i'd be like dude thank you like you didn't have to do that so i don't know just a little bit of niceness is that i want to go ahead and spread and maybe spread the story up and let's freaking go finally we got a red ticket dude we've been on a red ticket dry spell so far it has been brutal but our luck looks like it's turning around a little bit so that is good but no worries guys we still got that raid we're gonna be checking out today it's an action pack type of day but 
I was hoping that we might be getting more red tickets because our red ticket luck is doggy doo doo at the moment. Please leave Unt message after the beep. Out of all the Frenzy Giants, man, the Frenzy Giants are being brutal to us. So maybe the Toxic Spitters or something will be a little bit nicer, but that does not appear to be the case at the moment, comrades. So I'm going to keep on using like our fully modified things just because might as well, because I don't want to like use my pistols and stuff that we haven't even modified yet. I want to kind of like take advantage of what we got. Let's go and take you down. Maybe some of these abominations will spread some holiday cheer and give us some red tickets. But all right, let's go and let's try out this Uzi and see just how much of a number it could do on our frenzy giant friend over here. Hello, dude, I'm not going to lie. We just managed to do 250 damage before any recoil kicked in oh baby if you build your mini uzi right i'm not oh big hit big hit if you build your mini uzi right guys i'm not gonna lie that is actually really really good i'm gonna show you guys kind of like on the other side we're gonna be using an ak i'm gonna show you just how fast this happens to kick in if we are on this side of things i'm also going to be eating up eh, i'll eat up some carrots get our billet up to full but check it out so if we use an ak however for this thing he's at 500 damage the ak does even more damage let's see how much we could do before those misses start piling up and you guys could see we managed to do right around the same amount of shots with the weapon that does like i mean what's the ak do with a weapon that does like three less damage a pop we managed to do a little bit more damage before those recoils actually started kicking in and you guys can see like that mid uzi and that stability and oh my god dude did they change the bunker we're we just getting really unlucky because like these red tickets are not coming our way at the moment and i do not appreciate it not one bit no 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 not today i'm not a fan no not actually never any day would i be a fan of this but i i don't know especially not today all right why i don't know man i'm just i'm just in that fan for contesting call of day cheer this bunker is not very fan for contesting at the moment god dang it bobby but dang dude i'm not gonna lie this mini uzi has proved itself and we still have a couple of mods to hopefully put on especially ones that could hopefully kick in and have some critical hit start happening we uh it definitely i'm a, i'm a fan of the mini uzi let's keep it at that let's actually show like i want to see like what my guy looks like when he's actually like, holding it up you know hold on like we can see what it looks like when he's holding it up over here i don't know man i just love it it like it looks so weird it looks like half an assault rifle which is it's missing the entire back half it's like the whole front half but that thing ended up looking really nice, man. I love the mods that we got. Bless up to the mod gods, for they treated us properly. And I'm going to heal up from a little bit of carrots. And let's go and deal with some of these spitters and take them down a notch or two or six. About six feet worth of notches because they now are six feet under. Uh, let's go go back to the AK. Here's where the mass of Frenzy Giant starts to kick in, though. So hopefully this is where we can capitalize and start getting... Dude, these Toxic Abominations are really giving us some bad luck, too. Like, usually, I feel like they'll drop a red ticket here or there. Dude, I don't know. Did something just fundamentally change at the bunker? Because this is, like... This is wild, man. At least the Frenzy Giants are kind of starting to come around. Spread that holiday cheer again. But... Uh, we're up to 11. We still definitely got to get a couple of more here. Hopefully, we can manage to find some throughout some chests. I was trying to get to maybe 20, and then we could just go run through. Kills the blind one super quickly, and then once the blind one is dead, we'll be up to a solid 30. But the red ticker crate might need to wait for another day. But at the very least, we got one from the yellow ticker crate, which is a great, great side. And ooh, our frenzy giant luck is turning around a little bit. But we got one from the red ticker crate, which is a great, great sign. Not red ticket. Yellow ticket crate, which is a great, great sign. And uh, it just goes to show, guys, the yellow ticket crates, especially with how many we're getting from this run already, those are seriously getting to be really good when it comes to bang for your buck. Because if you guys recall, they now have a chance, and I've actually gotten a couple of gas tanks, chopper gas tanks, from yellow ticket crates. That was unheard of back in the day, and now it's like, oh, hello, don't mind me and my brand new chopper gas tank over here. And I, I, I will not mind it. Not one bit the kind last day on Earth, sir, but... I don't know, man. I like the fact that they are making yellow tickets more bang for your buck. Those crates are really starting to have some goods within them, and let's freaking go. There might still be a little bit of hope for that red ticket coming our way today, which is something that I am dearly and sincerely a fan of. Unlike these two rubber parts. Could you not have been two red tickets instead? 
That would have brought way more holiday cheer my way. Hopefully, you guys, though, trying to get these Uzis, trying to get these mods, all that jazz, have the absolute best luck imaginable when it comes down to it. I'll be crossing my fingers for all of y'all with this type of jazz because it's definitely some jazz worth crossing over. Not like a Allen Iverson type crossover, but you know what I mean. Like crossing your fingers over is what I meant. We're not, we're, I'm not trying to break no ankles here, right? You guys' ankles are safe. No need to worry. Now, the toxic dude's ankles, you guys' ankles... Definitely not safe, comrades. Hello, Abomination. How do you do? I got some death for you. But, dude, it feels good to use a fully modded AK again. I don't usually bring out, like, the super OP guns and whatnot, like the fully modded bad boys, because usually I like to save them and stockpile them for when tough times might be a coming. But, listen, whenever there's a new update, whenever we're trying to check stuff out in a new update, I love bringing out the bang. And, I don't know, I think it's a pretty, uh, pretty decent. What happens if I trigger that again? I don't, eh, YOLO. What's the worst that could happen, right? It just starts yelling at me, right? So these guys are just gonna like, nothing really happened. Nothing too bad, so, all right. Oh my God, there's a whole ton of beeping though, which is kind of annoying. Blech. Why must I deal with the beeps? I don't want to deal with the beeps. No, 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 not today. I want to deal with the death. I'm the grim reaper or the toxic reaper, should I say, because all toxic things are dying today. Oh mama, we got like three of these bad boys. Weren't, shouldn't you guys be out there like, Killing someone on a raid? Why are you killing me? I'm in the bunker. All right. These are the triplets that always like to attack. And oh my God, dude. Those beeps are obnoxious. They should honestly like stop after a certain point because a little bit too far, mate. A little bit too far. Let's go and see if any of these guys decide to drop anything. Let's freak it go. The toxic abominations are actually being kind of decent. I know the toxic spitters can be nice sometimes. They're not being nice right now, but five tickets to go. Still a couple of frenzied giants we should be able to deal with, and then maybe we'll just run over to the second floor and get some of that jazz, and then we'll take down the big one. Blind one, god dang it. Or, mm, I don't know. We might need to get this red ticket crate next time because I do still want to have time to get this uh, raid underway. And maybe I'll bring... Mm, I don't want to bring the Uzi for the raid, though. That might just be some bad news bears over there. What's the worst that could possibly happen? And I don't want to activate the blind one yet because I don't like doing normal mode because normal mode is our best chance at... Uh, I already opened this one, right? Yeah. Normal mode is our best chance when it comes to getting red tickets compared to hard mode, which is where our chances increase a little bit when it comes to the hard mode items, which I do want as well. Because like I was saying, we're very, very close to that floppy disk, which is going to be a very, very nifty prize. But... I mean, time will tell with that one. But hopefully the mini Uzis can also be gotten from there. And I think floppy disks can give you like weapon mods too. So maybe let's freak it go. Okay, if our luck starts going like this, there might still be a little bit of hope. But I don't know, man. Hopefully the floppy disks can have some good stuff coming our way too. If we can get some Uzis, some Uzi mods, maybe some modded Uzis already. Those would all be pretty freaking nice. Let me just say. But, all right, we got Toxic Abomination here to deal with. Hey, bub. Dude, I just feel spoiled doing this on normal mode, man. We're doing this on hard mode. You don't do full damage to these guys. And I feel really weird doing full... Oh, my God, dude. The game loves us. And I love you, game. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Lovely. Absolutely. What do we have over here? An Abomination. I mean, maybe we'll even pull some red tickets out of today's raid on top of it, too. So... We'll play it by ear. Whatever we end up this floor with, we'll end with. If we can manage to get up to 20 red tickets, though, there might be an unboxing and a murder yet to come. And I'm just trying not to get electrocuted here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Can you start shooting? Are you going to shoot, please? Hello, sir. Do I need to Uzi it up? Dude, how does my Uzi have enough range for this? My Uzi literally has more range than my fully modded M16. And I love it, man. This Uzi. Me and it are going to be, like, best friends out here. And especially, like, if you do recoil control... Like, I've just, I just feel like it's one of the... Oh, yes, I like what I'm seeing. I feel like it's one of the less likely weapons to uh, affect you with the, those misses to start piling up, which, uh, I mean, I'm thoroughly a fan of. Just like I'm thoroughly a fan of all the red tickets we started getting after a while. Hello, Toxic Spitter. Goodbye, Toxic Spitter. I don't want to use too much of this, though, man. I, I, I want to save some of it for the blind one to see how we could do. See if it's, like, a good weapon against him and see if we could maybe, like, sustain fire. Before those misses start piling up. We got a couple more bandages we could use. Let's see. We could use the destroyed pistol a little bit if need be. We still got to activate the terminal. And there's still like an abominations and stuff over there. So, I don't know. Uh, these these two might drop the red tickets we need. Maybe. They're going to be kind to me. God dang it. I hate those misses piling up. Are you serious? There we go. Well, he dropped absolutely nothing. We know the frenzy giant will... I don't know. Is this one going to be kind? We've been on a hot streak. we got to cool off at some point with these red tickets. 
off the Frenzy Giants. Hopefully that isn't today. It's right now. God dang it. We still got a couple of spitters over there. One more chest to open on up, and then we get into hell out of dodge, and even more yellers They're coming our way. God dang it, old yeller. Hello, spitters. I got bullets for everybody. Come one, come all. The Papa Star is over here, and he's got presents for all. Remember when I said I was the Toxic Reaper? Well, I've now turned into Toxic Claws, or Santa Toxic. Whichever one you want to call me, whatever it is, I'm dishing out what needs to be dished. Look at all these assists. I'm feeling like Chris Paul or Steve Nash or John Stockton or something like that and I don't know all that I know is I'm a little bit bummed we ended up a little bit short on the red ticket side but we'll see what is in store for us today because like I said we still got a, a wonderful raid to look forward to and we got the machete to look forward to within our inventory as well but with that said I will go actually meet you guys back at home because I got to prepare my inventory anyways for this raid we got to drop off a lot of the loot that we got and uh, we got to hopefully get all those hatchets and whatnot prepared for the shenanigans to come in this base. Let's go ahead and modify some of our uh, favorite fully modded weapons to their most amazing of abilities. <laughs> Along with you, Mr. Pistol. I wish I did have that extended mag a little bit, but I'm not gonna lie. This one increases critical damage, making it kind of like a pretty decent uh, backup. It doesn't do speed though, which I kind of wish it did. And I kind of did wish that I can't wait until we could get these active skill mod sites because some of those, especially this one alone, that critical chance increase is going to be really, really nifty along with whatever, uh, ability it grants us and also eh, if we ever want to use this as a non-silenced weapon this is pretty tempting but at the same time this and that critical chance mm -mm -mm. magnifique we know the elite shutter to be bay and we definitely know that that is the best sight laser thing imaginable because that critical chance and damage increase alone offsets that critical damage increase and we are prepared for today's raiding shenanigans as soon as we go and grab a couple of these things that we got to utilize to craft up today's tools and whatever walls might need breaking down because as much as i wish i was like magneto and i could uh use just my superpowers and take down some walls or something uh that that, that isn't a thing i have to use actual hatchets to do my bidding but i'm totally okay with that we're gonna leave some of this jazz away we're bringing in two rows of hatchets as per usual and we are hopefully gonna be bringing home a lot of loot on top of it all so without further ado let's start making our way over there and hopefully making our way into a rather large stockpile of loot. The dealer I will pass upon. Player 7654, I will not, good sir. I am coming for you. And yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm going to be tempted. Like, mm, when it comes to the Uzi, I know it's going to be nice to have it silenced. But the silenced mods, like, I don't know, man. That barrel that we have right now is really, really good in terms of damage and stability and range. And hello... It appears we got a nifty little stone base on our hands, laddies. Hoy vey, hoy vey. I may or may not like what I say. Ow. Okay, hurt myself a little bit on that. That is not what I was hoping for. Um, so the question is where to break into. He's got a window there, I suppose. Um, why don't we just try to break in like relatively within the center? Maybe like right around there. We'll see what that has for us. We got a C4. Let's hope that this is worth it because they did also steal our loot. So I am trying to get some of that loot back. Let's toss the C4 over there. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Oh, mama. Plenty of whammy and plenty of death. That's what you get. How dare you try to whammy me? Oh, why are you kidding me? Is there? Oh, 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 dude. There's a, so, mm. so there's another section to this base, but I think we might need to blow into that one too. And given what I'm seeing in the first section, I don't know how big of a... Okie dokie. I like red tickets. That's very nice. I like what I'm seeing. Okay, okay. I think this is... Eh, eh. I don't know if we're going to be breaking into that second part of the base, guys. Because I don't know if I want to blow through my last C4. I know we're on the verge of getting more. But... Uh, at least from what I'm seeing out of this first part of the base, I just do not know if that second part is going to be worthwhile. Hmm. Okay, I might I might go do a little bit of research on this base and see if that second area might be worthwhile because one C4, like, the one C4 we dropped for this first part of the base wasn't even worth it. Shot good rain to you, my friend. Yeah, the first part of the base was barely even worth it, so... 
I don't know if I want to do it for the second part. All right, lads, and I'm not going to lie, the second part of this base is actually even more trash than the first part because after doing some research and checking out what it does contain, and if you guys, I saw some guys wondering, like, Stav, what do you mean doing research? So there's actually a really great and easy way of researching bases, and that is actually by just typing in the name of the base in YouTube, and a lot of times you can see people uh, breaking into them and showing off what those chests do have kind of similarly to what we are doing over hither over here and yeah it's just a great way of kind of like having a rough idea of maybe good areas to break into especially when it comes to like using c4 c4 is obviously a pretty valuable resource you probably don't want to be willy-nilly blowing through it and all of the value that it does bring us so it's just kind of like a nifty little thing that you guys could do to maximize your opportunity over there and uh my videos will, should also be popping up as well for the names i see some guys saying that like star why do you not do anything and actually hold on uh i am going to be doing some laps over here to try to take out the little ones and then we'll finish off the big ones with our shock and rain over here but i do see you guys ask a lot of times like why i don't like put the name in the title i don't put it in the title but it should still pop up if you search for the name of the base my video should still pop up if i do raid that base because a lot of times i will put it in the description and or in the youtube tags and then when you guys search it the search engine is like oh here you go this video was tagged with this and that type of jazz so it does pop up for y'all if you are researching it off of that, just want to give you a quick heads up over there. But, so dude, I just want to hopefully... You know what? I can't wait till, honestly, the next update when hopefully bases get updated. Because usually with every update, bases and their loot are usually updated and what they bring. So, it's going to be cool to see, hopefully, some Uzis start popping up in raids. And we can start stockpiling those. Especially with what we're trying to invest in these Uzi mods. We might have some rather formidable weaponry on our hands. And I like these comrades. This makes me happy camper. Yes, yes, okay. Well, what also makes me happy camper is putting some loot away, which we had a decent amount of. Not a huge amount. Not a not huge amount, though. It was an okay amount. Let's leave it at that. But we are, uh, we, we just do not have a lot of stuff. This raid was kind of meh. I am not going to lie. And even breaking into that area, guys, it would not solve any of those meh problems. If anything, it'd just be a waste of a C4, unfortunately. I know, I know that sucks to hear, but that C4 is going to treat us a lot better down the line. Because even one C4, man, that could be the difference between nothing on a raid and a whole ton of very, very nice stuff upon a raid. But for now, it appears that we have maxed out what we are going to get. So might as well start binging and getting stacks of the best stuff that we can. A little bit of gas never went wrong. That's actually pretty decent to be picking up there. But it uh, looks like just bringing home stacks of stuff will be our best power play. Best maneuver here. Maybe some wires we could trade in over at the gas station. To try to get some points and whatnot. But I think that's going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth as well. With the completion of this raid next time we return, we'll head on over. A pop open those red ticket crates. And hopefully, because we still have to kill the blind one, we'll kill the blind one. That might give us enough to open up a floppy disk. The police station will respawn, which means we'll be able to open up some stuff over there. Hopefully get some more Uzis, get some more mods. And if you guys want to see another unboxing, that might very well be in the realm of possibility. Because I am trying to max out that Uzi and make it a gorgeous, a gorgeous weapon but with that said with that done i might go back and grab a couple more nifty small things which you guys saw that for the most part we grabbed like the best things there were so it's just gonna be random stuff they didn't manage to have us gonna go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of last day on our survival thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in best of luck to y'all on that 25 dollar i just such play store gift card giveaway not to mention best of luck in the chopper guys thank join the chopper squadron Breeding your pup again, the true friend perk, leveling up your own perks and skills, not to mention find the very best blueprints and building the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got, including that brand new Uzi and all of its Vonda as well. Best of luck building up your base, going out in the dopest of raids, defeating all the boss of the game as to throw at you, getting past the multiplayer wall, head the most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely fan fantastic time all throughout, not to mention best of luck that $25 slash place to our gift card giveaway. You can't wait to see what y'all got to say about the Uzi and maybe more blueprints but it'll do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching huh this was an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya